Hi pretties, welcome back to my channel. So, before we begin, I just want to say thank you for all the love and support um, for my, from my first video coming out. Um, I didn't expect any of what I got, so thank you. Thank you for that, for sure, just to start off. Um, so yeah, for today, we are going to be doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. A rated Ulta thumbnail. Should I put? Aha! So yes, I got everything from, you know, the drugstore side, from primers, foundations, concealers, everything powders, to setting sprays. Um, so yes, thank you for being here again. Please like and subscribe and click the bell. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we will get started. Okay, so for primers, I'm already, I already have clean face. Um, I got some comments, not really in the video, but people were telling me it looked like I had like a face mask on. My face was so shiny, but it's just fresh skin because I think that's when my makeup looks best. But anyways, and sorry, excuse the nasally, I'm getting over a sinus infection and then it's also raining. So it's like my head's about to explode, but the show must go on, right? Okay, so for primers, because I have dry skin, like I've said, I'm using the, I got the water drop primer, the cucumber, and I'll link everything in the description below of what I used. So yeah, this is what, oh, whatever. It's like green. Okay. Anyone ever have like those, a honeydew bubble tea? Like that's what it, it smells like. It smells rather, it doesn't smell like cucumber, but it's not really tacky. I feel like it didn't really do much, but I guess we'll find out. I also got this um, Milani Make It Last spray. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to smell things. I can't really smell, but... Milani Digital Blue Bright Filter. I think they maybe just launched this not too long ago, so... Okay. I went to, this was the, I don't know if there's more shades than this, I haven't really done a lot of research on it, but I saw this and the sign, that the banister said, new. So I was like, down. I tried to match my color, you know, as best I could. This was, like I said, this was like the darkest one they had, so... I like to try this with maybe like, one more primers that I'm used to using that's a little more tacky and see if it just kind of adheres, adheres. I'm gonna apply to the skin in a more full coverage way. I'm gonna go in with another layer and see how that looks. I don't know how I like this. Um, probably because it's a pretty, it's pretty on the hand, so I maybe wanna think like, it could be the primer. So I'd like to try with a different primer, but you know, you just gotta make it work, okay? Potential. I think it has potential. But in some areas it kinda, it's like breaking up a little bit almost. It's just harder to blend out in some areas. For contour, I went with the Morphe Their Fluidity, Fluidity Concealers. We're gonna try those out. I've been actually wanting to try them for a while now, but, and I got shades C5.65 and C4.65, so. Uh, oh my god. Hey. Uh-huh. <sighs> please, please don't mind that. We've got storms going on right now. Well. You know, we're all just like, this is Arkansas, okay? We've got 
a, we've got like a tornado watch, a winter weather advisory, it's supposed to snow, it was also 60 degrees today, so like, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Wow, forehead looking small already. I will say, it is a little difficult to blend out. I guess maybe it's like drying down. I mean, it is a soft matte, but like, you would assume because soft mattes. It may look a little dark on camera, but it honestly doesn't, yeah, it's pretty dark. Mm, I need to get a better camera, okay. And then for concealer, I went with C1.55. I was thinking, but I was thinking I like a little more of a brighter under eye, but this is almost white. A bit more of a thicker consistency. Are these things like the same concealers or what? Yeah, they're all the same, but this one just seems a little more thick. Where I put it after I blended it out, it like took off makeup from that, which could be the concealer, could be the primer, could be the foundation, who knows. I feel like I'm trying to blend it out though, and it's like, moving. Does that make sense? Like I'm trying to blend it out a little more, but the more I keep blending it out, I feel like it's maybe set already. Moving, but we're gonna keep going. For powder, I went with the Morphe Bacon Set Setting Powder. I just got the translucent, so here's a tip for all y'all out there. So that little sticky, or whatever you want to call it that goes on all these holes out here, leave on half, and that just, you know, it, of course it's gonna prevent less from coming out, but I think it just makes less of a mess too. So it does feel rather soft on the skin. Um, I think it's a little dry for my liking, but I guess we'll just see once I set it with the spray and everything and see how well it melts in. For bronzer, I got the um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. I guess it's new. It says new. This looks like more <clears throat> of a matte bronzer and more of a shimmer bronzer, but we'll give it a, give it a go. It's a little orange. Was well, a good idea to do first impressions, full face? Yes, yes, it was. Okay, so that's done. For brows, I got the Makeup Revolution Define and Fill Your Brow Pencil. So it's actually got some weight to it. So I do like the double ended. Okay. It's like a metal. Just go for a fluffy brow today. I do like it. Um, I'd say it's like a, maybe like a, a mix between, sorry, did you see that shadow? I was like, I know I didn't scribble that far. I feel like it's a mix between, um, probably Benefit and Anastasia. Um, I feel like Benefit's a little more waxy and Anastasia is a little more creamy um so I think like it's like an in-between the two because but I do feel like the little is a little more creamy for my liking um but it is a good brow pencil so I'm here for it okay and then for highlighters I found this one I didn't really find it I just across it whatever it's the um nyx high glass illuminating powder but i'm confused if i can just get these things 
Open. Uh, assistant. Myself. Okay. It's a. Am I reading it right? It says illuminating powder, but it's a putty. Can you? Let's. Like, do you, you see that? It's a putty. Ah. It's actually very pretty. If I look stupid, somebody help me. I know there's different putties out there, so this isn't like something new, but like... Okay, uh... Mm, okay, yeah. Y'all. That's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna do it with the sponge on the other side, so. Can you? Mm, oh, that's a pretty, I like, I'm here for this side, but that is like a pretty subtle kind of glow, you know? Uh, maybe I can The Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal Right? I think I think it's L'Oreal Oh, pff, duh, yeah It says right there um, Apparently it's like a, like a dupe to the Better Than Sex Mascara So I guess we'll Give it a whirl This one's okay And then we're gonna be going in with the um, Kiss Lashes in the style Jubilee, Jubilee, just these little ones right there. Right, yeah. What I don't have at Struck Store is lash glue, because I mean, I've really tried. There's not all that many out there to try, you know? I mean, so I've really tried them all, so I mean, I just went and stuck with my velour. That's sorry. It's probably the only thing that's not drugstore, but okay. Huh. While well, those are getting tacky, I'm gonna go with the brow gel. I just got the e.l.f. I've never tried this one before. I know people that use it, but I mean obviously there are people that use it, uh, but you know, friends. Friend group wise. Oh my god. I wonder if they're different formulas. I guess I should have read that. It says one side's brow, one side's lash, but I feel like it's like the same thing, but just to keep them separate, you know? It's okay. I feel like it's a little, it's not as liquidy as I'm used to, but we'll make do. Okay, so I just popped on those lashes, very natural, very subtle. Um, what I'm noticing already with the um, foundation cream, whatever, um, I've got a lot of creases in my forehead, you know, and I, I just put it on, so. Then I did get the um, Essence Shine, Shine Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss, so I always love a good gloss. I just don't like when they're super sticky. I can get done with that, it's not too sticky. I wish it was a little more wet looking, but hey. Then we're just gonna spritz everything. That is all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Yeah, like I said, so much love and you know, I didn't expect my first video to turn out that way. But yeah, just thank you to everyone who's watching and supporting me. And it truly means the world. Thanks for watching.